I'm excited. I'm super excited. I can't wait to shoot some awesome shots for you guys, capture some really cool things, bring you along with me. That's everything, everything I need to put into Jade. Other than the storage containers, this is pretty much everything that I own. I've never had everything laid out and sorted like this before, so I figured now would be a great opportunity to give you guys a rundown. When it comes to sleeping, I'm still using a cot. This one is an upgrade though for my first one, has a steel frame versus an aluminum one. I did have to do some modifying on one corner to make it actually fit. And also add a wood block on the bottom. Huge upgrade from the old one. This one has springs even and a mattress pad. So, I like living the high life. A common question I get asked is why I don't use a rooftop tent. And initially it was because of ease of access and Cost wise, all I had to do is pull up my front seat and rear seat. I was able to fit a cot in there that was like 35 bucks and then I was good to go. Now that I have a lot of experience with this setup, I'm glad I went this route because often I'd be parking in Walmart parking lots or kind of in sketchier neighborhoods. There's a little bit of uncertainty sometimes where I'm sleeping. A little peace of mind is the fact that I have a hard top, glass windows, lockable doors and all I have to do is pull in and stop and I'm parked for the night. If I were to throw up a rooftop tent up there, I'm gonna have this big object on top of my tent letting everybody know that I'm sleeping in there and all it is is made out of canvas. Just slice a knife in there. If we're talking like response time, if I needed to get out of Dodge, I'd have to climb out of my sleeping bag, climb off the roof, put the tent down, unlock the door, hop in the driver's seat and take off. My setup now, I climb out of my sleeping bag, climb in the driver's seat and I take off. There's two steps versus whatever it was before, five, six. For now, I still have the curtains on the windows. I eventually will get some tint, but I don't know, they kind of make it more homey or whatever. On the left, Jade's current sleeping bag. This one is a winter weight sleeping bag rated down to negative 25. The coldest I've ever slept in there was around 10 degrees in Utah. And on the right, and the sleeping bag on the right, this one is rated down to about 50 degrees, so more of a summer weight sleeping bag. This is Annie's bed, and this is Annie. A lot of the time she just sleeps inside the sleeping bag with me, but I figured I'd just give her a bed so I don't know, she'll have somewhere to chill while I'm driving and stuff. You gotta have a travel companion with you, and for me, that's Annie. This sucker is my refrigerator, Arctic, obviously, but I think it's the smallest one that they make. The longest so far ice has lasted is around a week, but it was pretty mild temperatures out, mostly between 30 and 50 degrees. So now that it's getting a lot warmer out, that'll be the true test. In the past, I had to buy food pretty much every day or every couple days. This way I'm able to keep food for a longer period of time, go off the grid, things like that. And for water, I carry three plastic water containers, two five gallons and one six gallon. I have one pot and one pan. Got a little vegetable steamer inside here. Teflon coated bottom. Teflon coated bottom on this pan as well. And then thanks to Eliza Radcliffe, one of my Patreon pledges, I have this little slow cooker, which I still haven't tested out, so I'm really looking forward to doing that. This crate is my designated cooking and washing crate. Cooking oils on this side, like olive oil, coconut oil, soap bottle, which I need to resharpie, sponges, utensils, gotta have a spork, lighters, and then of course my designated banana pancake smasher and cinnamon, cutting board, plates, and then on the bottom, I got three one pound propane bottles. Designated coffee container, got the AeroPress, Grinder, titanium coffee cup, one tea kettle and some filters. Still using the same old Coleman 
two burner propane stove. Those one pounders still last me at least a week. I still use my tailgate as a tabletop. Throw the stove on there, throw on the propane, I'm good to go. Zero complaints with this cooking setup. It's reliable, I think it was $50 or less. All around, good setup. A big upgrade that I do have now that I'm kind of trying out, we're gonna see how they work. I threw on these solar panel lights, LEDs, that shine directly right onto my cooking area at night. In the future, I'll probably wire up an auxiliary light back here to use in place of these. But we'll see how long they last. All the things that might be of some aid in a sticky situation. This little guy, it's one of those portable jump starters so you can jump yourself. I've killed Jade's battery sleeping on a beach one time. I killed Jade! I had to wait like a good hour until someone drove by to jump me. I got this off Amazon to beat it. Yeah, 50 bucks and going off of Price versus review wise, it was the best one I could find. Then we got this little air compressor. Great for airing up after off-roading. Got a toe strap, heavy duty extension cord, and of course, jumper cables. I don't have a repair a flat kit or anything like that, but I do have a spare tire. My current handgun case, and I'm still looking at getting a metal one. CB radio, which most likely will be used for off-roading and emergency situations. Speaking of emergency situations, an awesome subscriber of mine, Mike Tui, sent me this bad boy. A five gallon fuel can, or 20 liters to be exact. Mike Tui, you rock. This is so cool. Another common question I get asked that I failed to address in my original How I Live in a Cheap Wrangler video is personal hygiene and where I actually go to the bathroom. The gym is my go-to. Every time I go and work out at the gym, I have a shower available as well. Now, I did choose Anytime Fitness based on the fact that they have the most locations nationwide, so they were strategically picked as my franchise to go to. As far as using the bathroom, anywhere that's not the Jeep, but a lot of times I'm passing through a gas station, you know, you just go as you need to. It's easier being a guy, you can pretty much go anywhere. As far as like a sporadic number two or number three, I always carry toilet paper inside Jade, so it's never an issue. This is my gym clothes bag. This is my dirty clothes bag. My travel clothes bag. And the rest of my clothes bag. And as you can see, they're all color coordinated along with everything else. Up next, my miscellaneous camping supplies crate. We got a solar powered lantern, a propane lantern, one collapsible mini shovel, a hatchet, which if you've read the book Hatchet, you can pretty much survive off of just this one tool. Non-fictional book, you know. Then we got two little dry boxes, boot cleaning kit, cause I have leather red wings, ax guard for the hatchet, and a sharpener. So I can sharpen my buck 110 and the hatchet. In the other dry box, this is miscellaneous stuff for meetups. I got all my I Am Jake stickers, so they don't get all crunched. The last ones got kind of water damaged. And then some pens, so. These I'm gonna be giving away at the meetups. This is just to keep them protected. And last but not least, a super basic first aid kit. DGI Mavic, my favorite bag in the whole entire world. Laptop case, my new laptop. You're probably wondering what's in these storage containers, eh? Ugh. Initially I labeled the side of these storage bins so that I knew what was in them. Well, a very nice subscriber let me know that, well, you know you are announcing then to the world what's inside of them. Now I just have the first letter of the word on the top. So S for supplies, T for tools, C for clothes, and M for memorabilia. Now I gotta get down. Oh. As far as charging electronics goes, I now have a 1000 watt power inverter. I used to have a 300. And then I also have this four port USB adapter so that I now have five USB ports instead of just two. And the wiring for this has been upgraded so now it can actually handle a thousand watts. Underneath the seat, dog treats. And also, 
my go-to toolkit. Just recently, I added some indoor lighting, ARB touring awning that pulls out about seven feet. Dang! This thing is awesome! That gives me a rooftop over my cooking area and my tailgate, which essentially is my desk. This light bar was another recent upgrade. Three, two, one. Oh. Jade setup has changed so much in the last year. More than I ever dreamt it would, and I owe that to my Patreon pledges and my subscribers. None of this would have been possible without you guys, so thank you. Thank you. So now that you guys know all that's going to be going into Jade, it is time to put it into Jade and make it all fit. Let's get to it. Well guys, I think that is everything. Load up. Good girl. Come here. Pretty nice, huh? Pretty nice. Somehow everything fit. I'm actually kind of surprised. I was hoping it would. I had an idea of where everything was gonna go, but every time I do this, I don't know how many times I've had everything out and then put everything back in, but each time I get a little bit more organized, I have a little bit more space get a little bit more efficient with my space. And that is the name of the game. Well, what do you say, Annie? We hit the road? Huh? You wanna hit the road? You wanna hit the road? Let's do it. Tomorrow's vlog, open road, baby. You guys have a great day and enjoy this gorgeous sunset.